All right, today's project hopefully is going to be an interesting one. I got this lamp a few week, a few months ago, and uh, as you can see, it's got a outlet on it, and to the left of that outlet is a telephone hookup for for dial-up internet access, and the lamp's in good shape. So what I'm going to do is convert it to where I have a switched outlet for like diagnostic pur purposes and such and I got one of these one of these switches here so I believe it'll be a fun project well, let's get started now I am also going to update the power cord on this as if you notice my my replacement is heavier gauge. Alright, so the old cord is history and the new one is going in. It's got heavier gauge wires you can possibly see. It seems like you can especially see it on that green wire. I tell you, these Chinese companies can rip us off, more or less, you know, <laughs> or cause hazards or whatever. Now you can see why. All right, so I didn't think to get much of the project, but I uh, took out that, that phone jack. It was right here. You see, they just wanted to daub it in with glue. And I just took a screwdriver and drove it down in there and just busted it out, more or less. <laughs> but anyway, I think this lamp's going to come along just fine. And really what I'm hoping to do is having a conven have a convenience outlet for when I'm testing things. And turn the switch on and off on the outlet when I, don't, when I want things to turn off. And I just left the light circuit basically the way it is. Even though the switch is acting funny right now. I, if anything, I'll just go, if that uh, switch uh, acts up, I'll just go get another one of these. Alright, there is the light. Works like it should. And on this gadget, if uh, G1 and G2 light up, we're fine. And the red, if the red stays off, we're fine. as you can see we're fine thanks for watching and more to come later and at least this was a success